Hello, what's up everybody? Um, I was um, wanting to do a video today and I couldn't think of a, like, I was thinking of topics and um, I was like, oh, you know what? Let me talk about recovery coaching because I don't think I've talked about it like I've made a specific video for it. Um, I, I'm almost certain that I've mentioned that I'm a recovery coach in some of my videos, but I don't think I uh, kind of talked about recovery coaching in general and, um, you know, the benefits that it comes with it. Um, and then before I start, uh, I'm not begging, I swear, but, uh, if you like the video, um, please like, you know, if you're not subscribed, uh, please subscribe. Um, also feel free to drop a comment. Um, I love reading the comments and responding to them. Um, you know, I've been fortunate to get a lot of love from everyone so far. No, um, comments, you know, uh, telling me I'm a POS or anything like that, um, if you feel that way, I mean, leave a comment, you know, and, you know, maybe tell me why you think that. But yeah, um, liking and subscribing really helps me grow my channel. And uh, with the hopes of reaching more people, um, you know, with the videos I've talked about, uh, the nitrous oxide abuse, uh, nerve damage from it, uh, you know, like the psychosis from it, uh, mental health in general, um, you know, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know how many of you are familiar with, with the rec what a recovery coach is or does, but um, essentially a recovery coach is someone that has, uh, is a peer and has shared experience. Um, of course, it doesn't have to be the same exact experience, um, but you know, some lived experience. So for me, for example, you know, uh, as um, I've talked about in previous videos, I'm a recovery coach. Uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, for me, I have, um, I'm in recovery from not just from substance use, but also from mental health. Um, and uh, so I can use my experience to better support, you know, the peers. Some people call them recoveries. I don't, I don't like using that term just because it's like, you know, it can, it sounds like recovery, like, hey, I'm in recovery. Um, so I just say peers because, you know, I think that's an appropriate term. You know, we, we are peers, um, but uh, I can use my shared experience to, uh, you know, help support a peer and just provide, um, you know, like empathy, um, you know, kind of just provide some like, I guess, validation, um, you know, um, I rely heavily on active listening, um, you know, so, um, what I found is oftentimes peers, they just want someone to, to talk to and to listen to them, you know, um, uh, I try to focus more on, and I think at recovery coaching as a whole, uh, you know, focusing on goals, uh, that's one way that we can kind of, uh, support people and, you know, have it be productive, um, you know, establishing goals and kind of setting some good goals. And then, you know, every time we meet, uh, which is weekly for most of my peers, um, you know, we can kind of see how they're doing on their goals. Are they progressing? Are they not progressing? You know, like maybe we need to change something. Um, so that's, that's kind of one major part of it. But, um, yeah, I, I found that, you know, again, someone just sometimes wants someone that is listening, you know, and not just like listening and be like, uh-huh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, um, you know, not really listening, uh, you know, so with the act of listening, uh, you know, I, I use skills like uh, reflecting, uh, restating. Um, so if a peer's like, hey, you know, I've had a really horrible day today, you know, this happened and I'm feeling pretty upset about it, um, instead of like, telling them or suggesting like hey yeah you should do this or that i mean i guess i could suggest but um i kind of like the first thing which again is helpful is just to say oh it sounds like you you're upset <laughs> or re reframe it a little differently because um like i said i don't know if validation is like the the right word hopefully that doesn't come across like too strong um but you know by doing that it shows the peers that you hey you are listening to me okay like cool um, <laughs> so, um, you know, and then when relevant, um, as a coach, you know, we're not supposed to like, um, overshare, I guess. 
um, you know, the focus is on the peer, but uh, when relevant, you know, we can share our experiences with the peer. Um, you know, like someone was considering um, mental health court. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm not like, hey, yeah, you should do it. Or like, no, you shouldn't do it. But what I did uh, was be like, well, I, I was in mental health court. Um, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't successful. <laughs> um, but, you know, I spent a good amount of time in there. So I kind of know what it's like to be in mental health court. And so I could talk about my experiences. And then that way the peer can kind of, you know, maybe have a, a new perspective um, or be like, oh, you know, okay, uh, that resonates with me. Or like, oh, hey, like drug testing like three times a week. That does not <laughs> resonate with me. Uh, and then they can make a decision, you know. So um, it, it, I, it's kind of, uh, I, you know, hate to say it, but uh, it also seems like with recovery coaching, um, you know, you have to take a, a class to become certified. Um, mine was four days, like eight hours a day. So not a lot. Um, and, uh, but I, I feel like a lot of the skills like are kind of innate, you know, or like, you know, there's people that are cut out to be good coaches and there's people that, you know, don't make as great of coaches. I'm not going to say a bad coach, but you know, like uh, some people just don't have those skills of, you know, empathy, um, uh, you know, being able to relate, um, being able to articulate themselves well enough um, to um, actually do active listening and, and not just like talking the whole time. Uh, but, you know, of course, with the classes, the certification, you know, they go over, over a bunch of stuff like that. But yeah, I just feel like some of it can't be taught. You know, it's just like, it's just, like I said, innate characteristics. Um, you know, fortunately, I, I am somebody that is a pretty good listener and I have empathy. Um, so, um, but yeah, so with recovery coaches, um, typically, I, I guess I can't speak in general, but I'm sure most places like I do like meet weekly. Um, you, just, you know, there's some coaches that um, can kind of... Um, with my organization, you know, we, we meet once a week and then that's like it communication wise. Um, so, you know, kind of sucks to set that boundary, but you know, it's an important boundary for the peer and myself, you know? Um, so, you know, it's not like, um, talking every day, like via text message or, or phone call. Um, I'm sure, um, there's organizations that, you know, like, that is kind of the expectation. Um, of course, with within limits, you know, like not being on, on call like 24 seven, um, but um, providing a little additional support and uh, communication other than just once a week. Um, I do my uh, recovery coaching uh, remotely. I do it all online. Um, but, uh, you know, like the recovery cafe that is, I live close to, you know, they have recovery coaches that you meet in person. Um, I'm sure that, you know, if you would like, they probably can meet over the phone, but, um, you know, typically, um, those coaches at the recovery cafe meet in person, uh, which I, I, I would say it probably is more helpful or more, more effective, you know, because you can really get like, a good conversation, you know, read their body language. And I don't know, I just feel like the, it might be more helpful versus like, you know, Zoom actually isn't too bad, but um, over the phone, it's like, you can't, you can't see their thumb and their body language. So it's like, you know, sometimes um, conversations are awkward and you know, like I cut them off on accident or they cut me off because you know, they can't see those cues. Um, so yeah, so recovery coaching is available, you know, through different means. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, it's just all about supporting the peer any way possible. Um, you know, one thing that we're taught is to meet them where they are. So um, another thing of recovery coaching is not imposing my beliefs or my values onto that peer. Um, instead, we support the peer by kind of, um, I guess more passively, um, 
you know, like I said, not suggest suggesting or telling them what to do, um, which can be difficult sometimes because, you know, peers, sometimes they're making, you know, I, I guess mistake, like that's, I feel strong too, but you know, maybe making choices that aren't the best for their recovery. Uh, and some people want to like try and fix it and be like, oh no, you need to do this instead, you know, but um, I think a good coach it more can, like I said, share their experience uh, without being overbearing and, uh, you know, let, let them, let them, you know, make their own choices. And, you know, some of those choices aren't going to be ideal. Um, but that's how they learn, you know, like that's how I've learned through my recovery is <laughs> fucking up so much, uh, to where I, I've been able to use all of that <laughs> experience that helped me be successful in my recovery. Um, so, so yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's an interesting role, um, uh, because it's not like, you know, we're not sponsors, we're not therapists, we're not friends, you know, we have to maintain, um, a strict um, I forgot what term my organization uses, but like essentially like one relationship only, which is, you know, the coach and the peer or the recovery. Um, so, and, you know, I, I think for some people that can be difficult too, because, you know, we want to help as best we can or what we think is the best to help. But, you know, sometimes that's, you know, just not, I, I wouldn't say not appropriate, but just, you know, not what our roles are, um, as a coach. Um, so, um, yeah, I, like, I don't know. I felt like there was more to talk about with coaching, but <laughs> that's kind of the gist is just, you know, we, um, have lived experience with recovery, uh, and, you know, mental health, addiction, trauma, a combination of all of those. And, uh, you know, it helps us, I feel like it helps us be better, like be able to be more empathetic, uh, you know, versus like I, I've had some uh, drug or substance counselors that um, it was pretty obvious that they didn't have any lived experience because uh, I don't know. It, it's it's like weird to just hard to describe. It's like, you know, they were still good counselors, but it, it just wasn't the same as talking to someone that has lived experience, um, you know, it, it just better able to relate to and uh, more empathy because they know how hard it is. Um, versus someone that, you know, becomes a counselor and they, they, you know, go through all this school and, and are taught these things, you know, they, they might not have, uh, lived experience. There's some that, you know, they, they can't talk about it, but there's, there's also been some counselors where it's like very obvious that they have some experience, um, you know, with addiction or, or mental illness. Um, so, but yeah, the, yeah, that's just, just, you know, just someone that has, similar experiences and can just be there and you know help support the peer with their goals and, and you know active listening um so i i guess i should have done a little research um before this but um i i would encourage anyone that's in recovery um from you know anything like i said um you know addiction mental health um look at, look into like recovery coaches like in your area or um i think i've seen um and this is where i should have my research but i'm pretty sure that they, there's like recovery coaching services um online that you can use um i'm sure those like you have to pay um but uh you know, with my organization and, and the recovery cafe, um, the coaching services are free. Um, uh, so the peer doesn't have to pay, you know, to receive those, uh, services, you know, um, and that's typically because, you know, it's like a nonprofit organization or, you know, it's like funded through private donations. Um, and so they kind of self sustain that way. Um, of course the coaches get paid, you know, um, but the peer doesn't have to pay, um, which I think is fantastic, you know, um, kind of, um, one less barrier to, um, you know, receiving coaching services, you know, cause some people might not have the money to pay for it or, you know, might not want to pay money for it. So, you know, if it's free, then, you know, I feel like it's more accessible. Um, so I'm sure, you know, uh, again, if you're interested, look online, um, but I would more recommend look, look for in person, uh, or like locally, I should say, um, you know, I can't speak for every city, but, um, 
the city I live in has a really strong recovery community. Um, so, you know, like I said, the Recovery Cafe, uh, and there's some other um, kind of organizations that uh, uh, arrange events. Uh, I don't know if they offer coaching services, but um, yeah, you know, I, I think it's best to find someone local uh, and then, um, you know, try and find an organization or a place that you can do the coaching for free. Um, but if not, you know, if you don't really have much in your area, you know, you search online and can't find anything, then, you know, the online coaching is available too, but you know, that you might have to pay for. So, um, yeah, hopefully this, this, I don't know, it was an interesting video, um, kind of, um, enlightening, I guess, or just, I don't know, you know, give you a better understanding of, um, uh, what a recovery coach is and what a recovery coach does, um, so, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, if you like the video, um, please subscribe or like and, uh, you know, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, it just helps helps me tremendously. And I, I appreciate everyone uh, that does. And I also appreciate just anyone that is watching these videos. You know, um, I think it's just cool that I can make these videos and, you know, talk about a variety of topics or, you know, just like sometimes just uh, treat it like a video journal and just talk about how my day is going or how my week is going. I thought I heard like a vacuum. <laughs> um, so yeah, so please do uh, if, if you like the video and um, uh, if you guys have any suggestions on um, videos or ideas uh, for me to make videos about, please put them in the comments. Um, so uh, yeah, I hope everyone uh, has a good day today and I'll see you guys next time.